Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this um, video tutorial, video walkthrough of this new app that I've, um, I've recently discovered. It's called um, Plotograph or Plotograph Plus. Um, as you can see, top left hand side there, Plotograph is a new image animation app that brings still images to life. This version of the Plotograph is called Plotograph Plus for iPad and iPhone. Um, so before we get into it, let me just quickly show you how I got this. You can obviously search it on the App Store, I'm sure. But the way I got it was, um, let me quickly show you, was on the Apple Store. Just scroll down to the bottom from the main page. And um, I had this app exclusively for you and download for free now. So I press the little, um, press the hide link, takes you to the App Store. Um, you can, it gives you a code, redeem the code, and you've got Plotograph. So let's get into the app and let me take you through um, through what it does. So this is the screen here that you would um, normally see. Um, let's stop. Start at top left. Top left will just take you back a screen. Um, the plus button will um, allow you to add images from your library. The info little graphic it just adds these little um, splash remarks up to your to your screen. It just gives you like tool tips. Um, moving right, we've got the undo button and the redo button, and then the settings. We've got settings here. Um, we can change the colors of the animation tracks, the, change the colors of the masks, change the colors of the anchors, and show the magnifier. And this is quite cool here. We can um, Apple Pencil Prestivity Sensor. So you can change the sensitivity if you're using an iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. Moving down to the bottom left hand side, we've got the animate, and I'll show you what that does in a minute. Um, I'll show you what all these tools do in a minute. The mask. So the mask tool just allows you to mask an area that you don't want to be affected by the animation that you that you um, apply and then we've got the eraser the eraser simply erases the mask it doesn't erase anything else just erases the mask anchor tool is a little bit like the mask, mask tool so you can anchor parts of the image that you don't want to move then we have the play tool so once you animated it you can play it and um, and preview what you've done then we have the select tool so once we animate things we can then select the animation points that we um, that we create and I'll show you again in a minute and change them speed so once we've animated something we can change the speed at which it moves the crop now this is quite cool the crop what we can do with the crop is we can have a free crop we can have a landscape crop or we can have a Facebook cover crop so if you make an animation for the Facebook cover image it automatically does the size for you just by um, selecting the preset there square portrait and then photo cover crop and then we obviously have share where you can share it out to um, a plotograph or a um, to your images um, as a gif or a png um you can also use insta snap and facebook and twitter you can share it out and then just change the image size down the bottom or on the very bottom you can just save the camera roll so that's all the um, the tools now let me show you what we can do so just selecting this animate down the bottom left hand side and then i'm just going to animate the clouds so i'm just going to highlight the direction that i want the clouds to move in and the parts of the clouds or the clouds that i want to move um so we could have them all go in the same way but that would be i suppose a little bit boring so let's have them go in different ways so now remember what i said about the selection tool so we've got to select here and then what this allows us to do is select the animation points so we can change the direction or change um, the duration of those animation points so if we just leave it like this now so these are the the, the areas that i want to move um, and we click play you see it will blur the image and move quite a lot of the image so what we're going to want to do is as says we can choose this mask and on this mask we can increase or decrease the size of the mask let's make it a little bit bigger and then let's mask all of this area here and now this area won't move if i click play that area won't move so that's one way that we could do that mask and it's quite effective remember i said the eraser tool what that does um, it just removes the mask and i think that's probably the best way to um, to freeze part of the image so if we click play again you see it all goes back to moving or if we want to get sort of um, quite intricate we've got smaller things we can make animation points and I'm just tapping the screen and going around these points 
and now nothing below that line will move we click play so you see it does what the, the, the pretty much the same as the mask does but it's a lot more precise with the lines in which it does move but that in in ensure is what it does obviously we can crop that we can save it out and um, we can anchor a few more points we can make more things move um, we can slow it down or speed it up so slow it down it looks quite effective and likewise if we speed it up it looks quite effective um, the only thing with it speeding up is sort of it, it loops itself so um, I quite like the slow movement um, which, is, which is quite good and then um, and then we select animate and it just shows you the movement so if you want to add a few more or even you want to adjust these and make them move a little bit more let's see what that does so it just increases the movement even though it's slow which is um, which is quite cool but i suppose what we could do we could, we could anchor point in the center here as well so none of this moves so now we've got a static center we could even anchor a little bit further out like so so now we've just got the outsides moving we've got this center that's quite steady and now we could um, we could ramp the speed up a little bit I suppose to make it look a little bit more effective um, so yeah that in in real quick terms is um, is plotograph plus so let me share that out and um, and and show you what it um, show you what it does so if you have any questions, any problems, put them in comments below. I will, um, I will continue to explore this um, sort of plot of graph. What we can do with it? Any, any sort of cool things that we can do with it? And I'll, um, I'll let you know. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you soon.